Sundays with Tocahannes and Roxy Hayes. That's Tocahannes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tocahannes. Uh, welcome to the episode of Sundays, a talk game show mini therapy session where we eat brunch. And today we're observing Moscato Day. So we'll eat and we'll drink today. Um, and we have our special guests. <laughs> Hello, oh, Roxy, is that your Moscato already? Yeah, I, I already yeah. had it. I've been, I've been oh, okay. sipping it. Cheers. Mm. Why not? I, I got to stop drinking wine like Thor. Like, I got to stop, like, oh, right. me. But nah, I didn't, the glasses were dirty. So, cheers, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to bring our Sunday. happy Sundays. I missed you. I missed you uh, too. It's been a long time. <laughs> I know. Well, we're back, y'all. So, we're going to bring in why? two of our favorite people. We, we, we genuinely fucks with these people. So our first guest is the homie. You may have seen him on All Deaf Cannabis. I know you have. Give it up, for Mr. Herman Rice. Yay, hey, Herman. Happy belated. <laughs> this is birthday. Woo. Happy Thank belated you. birthday, Herman. And we'll say it was your birthday. I mean, um, no. <laughs> you don't. Woo, Herman. Yeah, yeah. Who else we got? We also got my bad. My host start texting me in the middle. I am working. All right. So our next guest, our next guest, uh, we actually were supposed to have John A on here. Y'all also know John A from All Deaf Cannabis. We couldn't get John A, but I think she had a fill in. Oh hey <laughs> y'all, this girl Moscato. What's up? We popping bottles. It's an international holiday, baby. It I'm is. It is. Yeah, I'm happy to have you. Damn. 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 We out here. Damn. 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 Roxy, why are you choking yourself with your hair? I don't know. I'm like, fuck the cup. Uh oh. I don't know. Like, don't know. Like, Moscato I don't know. coming in hot. Moscato is coming. Why me and Herman got the same laugh? I was laughing because we both was like, hey. Well, <laughs> All right. So we already get to know Moscato, but let's, let's get to know Moscato and Herman a little bit more. I'm so sorry. All you right. know, that, just so you know, because a lot of people, when you do wine tasting, you got to uh -huh. do this. After. Oh, yeah. Well, what, what kind of wine are you drinking, Moscato? Baby, I'm drinking me. <laughs> Not the barefoot. Right. You have the Coca Cola name with people's name on it. I got wine with my name on it, baby. <laughs> okay, I just want to see what kind. All right, barefoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. I love it. All right, yes. So we're going we're gonna to do the, we're going to start with uh, getting to know you guys. We're going to start with personality questions. So we're going to ask you guys one personality question, then we're going to ask you one high question. So let's actually start with. Moscato. So let's bring Moscato up. Hey, y'all. Hey, Moscato. Can you still hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm tickled. All right. So, Moscato, what's your favorite wine? Well, you know, to be completely honest with you, a lot of people may not know this about me, but my favorite wine is Moscato. Oh, I was not expecting that. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm kind of unpredictable. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. So let's go to Herman. What about you, Herm? Uh, my favorite wine right now is a. Uh, um, it's not a. It's not a certain brand or anybody. It's a wine called like a uh, Syrah, and um, I like the Syrahs and I like the Petite Syrahs. The Petite Syrahs is a little lighter than the regular Syrah, but the Syrah is a red wine. It's probably the darkest of the grapes uh, you can get. It's real full, uh, really good aftertaste, um, like lasting. It's not too sweet, uh, but it's not too dry, but it does have that spongy feeling uh, that we call tannins at the end of it. So. Um, that's been my favorite wine right now, the Syrahs. And I, and I do love Pinot Noirs. Okay. I rock with it. Let's do, let's do Tope next. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so my favorite wine is a Pinot Grigio or like a different white. I'm not really too into the reds yet. I would like to be. I just haven't been exploring um, since our last chat, Herman. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't ventured out. I've stayed with some tequila. So wine, uh, I have white. I like white wine. Eh, you know. <laughs> you no, know. It's really so it's like, if I'm going to drink uh, it, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I like it. It makes me feel sexy. But at the end of the day, when I'm bloated, maybe not so much. So, yeah, you just when I'm, you, white wine don't make you bloated. Yes, white wine does make me bloated, and I yeah. hate it. The red wine doesn't do. It's not as uh, up at the same time, Roxy. Right. The, the, I was the just clicking back not as, uh, as it don't give you that bloated feeling. I think you just gotta find the red that you like. And if you like the white so much, then you just want to go with a lighter red. So the Pinots are yes. real good for red. Oh, a are lighter red. red. Huh? Mm. Or you just got to get you a dude who hey. likes Fupa. Because I'm telling you, I'm I have no problems. You know what I mean? The bloating is a floating, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Like a food <laughs> Have you ever have you ever lifted a belly up to get in there? Um, uh, man, uh, did, is that about the wine? It's about right, breakfast. So <laughs> my favorite wine. Talk about breakfast. <laughs> Yo, Roxy, what? what's your favorite wine? <laughs> Hold on. It's a hand lift. Yo. Okay, my favorite wine. I don't really drink wine. Y'all know I get drunk real fast. Mine is like if I'm gonna drink is mo more likely gonna be Moscato because I don't like the taste of alcohol. Um, Herman, right? What is that? Herman did Herman. have an episode. Herman over there cooking. I muted him. Oh, he over there cooking. <laughs> um, just here sizzling and shit. Uh, I, <laughs> I, but I started trying to drink more sweet reds. I do like sweet reds. It was like this sparkling red that I drank that was really good. But my favorite, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go Moscato or plum wine. I like a good plum wine. Plum wine well, is really good. Mm -hmm. Plum wine makes you boo-boo? Yeah, that definitely does. I boo-boo all the time anyway, though. You know, I'll be shitting. That's my thing. They, uh, That's my thing. <laughs> they have a new, like, Do I know though. that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they have a new winner. You, they have, like, a new orange wine that's pretty good. Like, uh, it's kind of tasty. Um, Y'all definitely can try that one out. Um, just a, I believe it's a dessert wine as well, um, but it's good. I also found, I also found um, on well, next time y'all come out to visit to LA, we're gonna go to Fairfax or whatever. And it's like a little Ethiopian shop oh, yeah. there, and then they had, Ooh, man, let's they had go. Their own, like um, honey wine, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we gotta try that as well yeah. next time y'all come out. I'm with it. Honey no. wine messed up. It Honey I haven't wine had it yet. So it I'm gets really you. looking forward to it. I'm with it. I'm definitely with it. It's like okay. that other that oh special God. honey. Uh, it's not honey. honey. So. No. It's Ethiopian no. honey. It's always special. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, oh, it's, okay. it's okay. So our high question. Okay, so this is for everybody. Go ahead, Tope. You wanna read it? Okay. Do fishes get thirsty? Um, <laughs> do they drink no, water? Because I don't do. I don't think fishes. I don't think they uh drink water. I think water is breathed in. Like water is made into oh, like air, water. right? Mm. So, so you think they just absorb the water? Then they, right, don't they just pretty much absorb the water. There's no. So uh, then, does their body get thirsty? Ooh. Oh man, good one. Mm. That is no, their body is dehydrated. But that's is that thirsty or that's different? Well, I don't know because girls be calling us thirsty and <laughs> oh, <here we> <laughs> I definitely just be dehydrated. Girls be calling us thirsty. Uh, so hmm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I would I would say no. I would say fish don't get thirsty because they are underwater. Mm. Okay, yeah. Moscato. How you feel? I, I you know, because you know I'm real educated and stuff. Because um, I mm -hmm. went, mm -hmm, yeah. 
Um, like, no. I went to Yale Cosmetology and mm -hmm. I, yeah. uh, so basically a few things that I learned um, and yeah, um, I think they do get thirsty because you got to think about the ocean is real salty. It's real Ooh. salty. So Very yeah, true. you get water, you hydrate it. But if it's some salty ass water, that's true. You're going to have high blood pressure. That's true. Mm. That is true. And you're going to mm. be thirsty. Mm. Mm. Nah. Mm -mm. Are, are they drinking the water? Are they drinking Ooh. the same like salt this. water that's making them thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> and if you just drink like that, that's not enough. You're not drinking enough. You know what, John? A, you're right. Wait a minute. That is. <laughs> you're not drinking good. enough. Go in like that's this. That's not enough, bro. That's not enough. That's not enough. That shit feels stupid as hell. Fish look dumb as fuck. I know that's not Damn. what we talking about. They look stupid as fuck. <laughs> Don't do fish like that. I a little dumb ass. Mini bag. <laughs> yeah. Cheers to the weekend. Cheers. Cheers to the Sundays. 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 Sunday. Well, what do you think, Coke? You think they get thirsty? Um, I think that their body absorbs the water. I think they are water. So I do believe that. They do get thirsty because if they are removed from the water, they would shrivel the fuck up, as we would as would we if we stopped drinking water. For so is um, that thirst or is that similar to what Herm said, where it's more like water is equal to air? Yeah, sustenance. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Mm. No, because, no, I think that they do get thirsty. I think that I'm about to see if there's an is there an actual answer. I What's know. your answer though? Before you Google, ma'am. I, I was with Herm. I think it's more like sustenance. Just like if you stop giving us air, we would like fish. Literally, it's like they stop breathing. Essentially, when you take them out of water. So I agree more with Herman. Not necessarily that they're thirsty, because thirst mm -hmm. is like dehydration. So it's not. Like, I don't think they're not acting like they're dehydrated. They're acting like they can't breathe. So I'm equating mm -hmm. it to air. It's like sustenance. Mm -hmm. And I think I think thirst can be quenched. Right. Mm, you know what yeah. I mean? Like for sure. Um, you can take care of thirst. I mean, you can take care of, of, of suffocating and stuff like that just by giving yourself air. Right. But um, I don't know. I think this question has got far too educated for me. Well, <laughs> I looked it up and, and it I'm said the shot. It said, wait a minute. Huh? Hey, a I'll take a sip to that. The, they absorb. I got. The, I'm looking at the nakedscientist.com. Mm -hmm. It says, "Why he naked?" I don't know. That's a reliable uh, resource. Right, there's, right. They said there's different type of fish. You've got fish that live in fresh water, and then a fish that lives in salt water, and then also salt water in the oceans. And you've got a separate type of fish. So sharks and rays, they don't have. Okay, bitch. I asked. Okay, what? here we go. So fresh maybe water fresh fish water don't fish drink. get thirsty. That's what it says. Freshwater fish don't actually drink at all. They absorb all the water they need through their gills. So different. Okay, I ain't reading this whole thing. This motherfucker wrote all of this. So okay, different so fish get thirsty. Different fish get thirsty. Yeah. Huh. So fish get thirsty. Did no, not all fish. Certain fish. Not the freshwater ones. Yeah, the I'm not gonna, I can't right? give you all fish. Well, yeah, yep, you was fish. because the water is fucking it's salty. Salt, salt, yeah. Moscato mm -hmm. with a word, guys. What a word. What a word. <laughs> All right. You know what? That's actually perfect because that brings us to our next segment. What do you know? We're going to oh. test you guys and see what you know. Okay. So this is our game show portion of the show. Yeah, you ain't know you're going to get quizzed, but it's fine. It's fun. So there's three rounds, right? And each person is going to get one question. So each round, one question each. You're going to have 15 seconds to answer. Okay. So within those 15 seconds, you can answer as many times as you want until you get it correct. So Word I don't bomb. say time or correct. You could just spit it out. Spit yep. it out as much as you can within those 15 seconds. So if I'm Word like, bomb. what uh what name name uh who's the who is uh Fire Beaver's no, teeth, whatever color they are. Yeah, or whatever. Purple, green, what? yellow, black. You could just keep right. going until you get it correct, right? <laughs> but it has to be within those 15 seconds. Once the timer is up, it is up. Okay. The most the person that gets the most points at the end of the three rounds wins. But in the event that there is a tie, you will have one sudden death question. And that will break the tie. So, Toke, what do they win today? If if whoever what does the winner get? 
So the winner will get the winner actually. So we've actually um what is the winner getting? Is the winner getting a glass um a bottle of wine? Yes, okay, yeah, I, I asked you because I forgot and I'm high. So yeah, okay, because well, I know we have bumped up the stakes. So instead of a Here gift you. card this round, we are definitely going to gift everyone with their favorite wine. So thank you for answering earlier. Um and We'll see how it goes, right? May the odds be in your favor. Right. Ooh, what what movie is that? Whoever, Hunger Games. I have no idea, but there you go. I heard it. I never even watched the movie. So. <laughs> That's why we gotta keep it. I love it. Show them, show them the positive vibes. <laughs> I'm loving y'all channel. This is my first time on y'all show. Roxy, I'd love to see you in producer mode. Um, this is This is really tight. Uh, Toki's so open and free. This is so nice, too. Uh, Moscato, I know both of your personalities, and I love this one as well. So this is this is really tight. I'm enjoying it. And myself. we love you, and that's why we wanted yeah. you to come on, because you're just yeah, so delightful. You. You're so yeah. positive. We love Herman. You love Herman. Herman. Yes, I love Herman. So, yeah, <laughs> um, okay. heat up your weird leaf thing. Exactly. <laughs> Your <laughs> you know, we'll let him do that and we'll actually let Moscato go first while he heats up. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, that's perfect. Nasty, nasty that's what he's cooking his leaf. His yeah. leaf. Oh, that's what that noise was. Yeah. I know that's not what was in his pockets. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> the, the Lord. <laughs> it was a Bible in there, Toke. All right. Yeah. So we're off. Praise him, raise him. <laughs> Hello, right. somebody What a word. Let's go. All right, since it's National Moscato Day, um, we're actually going to talk about Moscato. But because Moscato kind of got big over the past couple of years because of rappers, I was like, why not incorporate both? So this is what do you know about rap and Moscato? So Moscato, mm. that mm. is your question. And your 15 seconds start after I completely read the question. All right. Let's she wants to say first right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the name of the 2009 song featuring the lyrics? It's a celebration. Clap, clap, bravo. Lobster and shrimp and a glass of Moscato. 15 seconds. I'm living my best life. Hey, uh, uh, Drake, Migos. Uh, we need the name of the song. I know. It's a celebration. <laughs> Popping bottles. Living life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, about, I'm living my oh. best life. Something about living a good life. The artist yeah, was Drake. Drake. Hey. Hey. The artist was Drake. No, that's yeah. not a clap. She did not she say didn't get half name. a point. No half points. Uh, that's one okay. point. I, was <laughs> I, know. I got Toko Drake. Though, Andrew, that's all the points I need. Let me oh my. Um, know. And we just got a free little, uh, what was that, a concert real quick. So. Yeah, another hey, song was good. Happy Sundays. Hey. I <laughs> am done. All right. Thank you for Scott. Oh, Lord. Put up the question too quick. Luckily, he was not looking, so it doesn't matter. Okay, Herman, are you looking now? Ready for your I question? I am looking. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, what Herman, is the name of his background. Go ahead. Go. The, 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 the 2010 song featuring the lyrics, DJ, turn me up. Ladies, this your jam. Come on. I'm going to sip Moscato and you going to lose them pants. 15 mm -hmm. seconds. Turn me up. Lady, do your dance. Mm -hmm. Oh. Moscato, Boy, you got this up here. Uh, it's a party. It's a party. Six it's seconds. A party. Hey. Song. What's the song? What's the name? Uh. Time is up, Mr. Oh. Rice. You did the same thing that Moscato did and just no started singing hands. it. It is No Hands by Waka Flock of Flame. <laughs> I'm here Waka for the Waka concerts, Flame. though. Bring them every time. <laughs> so no. at the end, it uh -huh. helps you remember, but even if you get it wrong, just, we still you know, got a free concert. Remember. So at the end of that round, it is zero points for Herman and zero points for Moscato. So we have a tie. We have a tie. That is never in my life before. I've never heard my name in zero in the same sentence. <laughs> wow. Well, you still have a chance to get more points because it is now Toke's round. Go ahead, Toke. Oh, here we go. So we have a what do you know about cannabis round. Ooh. And for our first question, who do we bring up? Let's I do. We'll, we'll give it to Herman since we have Moscato first. Uh... 
and we'll bring it up. Herman, what is the word for cannabis that has been derived from a Spanish term for wine or brandy in which cannabis buds have been steeped? So it's kind of a wrong question. See if you can, go ahead. Marijuana? Keep going. Eight seconds. Uh, what is the word for cannabis that derived uh, pot? That is correct. That is correct. So if you are following All Left Cannabis and you have paid attention, there is a post of a did you know that says pot is a shortening of the word pate guaya that comes from patacion de guaya, a wine or brandy in which cannabis buds have been steeped. I want some of that. I think you might have some. You might have had some uh, grace juice. It's just a little different without the brand. You're right. You're right. Can you say pate again? Pate, pate sion. Pate sion. <laughs> pate sion. Pate sion. Hey. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Moscato? What do you I am, know? I am ready. <laughs> She's like, you got to throw the accent on there now. Mm. Pate sion. <laughs> Next one. Name a commonly known term for effects on a person's mental state from using multiple substances simultaneously. Cross it. Oh. Yeah, and that was quick. That was that was real easy. Okay. Oh. You know, I've been like this number two before. That is man, that was that was intense. You guys both got a point that round. So, Herman, okay, you are going into this final round with one point. And, Moscato, you as well are going into the last round with one point. Sudden death. No, Let's not go. yet. It's the, okay. it's the last round. And then Fine. sudden death if you're tied. So, this last round is random things. So, how much do you Ooh. know about random things? Random things. And I made these questions. So, you know. Oh, yeah. my gosh. This yeah, they're hard. So random. Well, I would be trying to get you out these uh, gift cards <laughs> or wine. <laughs> okay, what? so these are what? how bad do you want it? Hold, hold on, what'd you say, Harm? You talking? No, shit? I was just laughing about your randomness. I'm like, what is I'm thinking of the questions you may ask, like, what is the name of my teddy bear on the left side of my bed? <laughs> wow, <laughs> so, Ricardo, are you ready for your question? What is the name of the villainous oh, teddy bear? Wow. It's oh, wow. Three. And it definitely is my teddy bear that I have. 15 seconds. That oh, dirty wow. ass teddy bear. Go. It's not um, dirty. Teddy, bear, big no, boy, no. Luther Vandross, <laughs> Ruben Stutter, uh, Cuddle. What? No, it big is. Big boy, Big Ted. Name, time is Lotso. up. His name is Lotso Hugging Bear. He is the villain in Toy Story 3. He <laughs> was in the dumpster. He walked through the rain. That is why he was dirty. And when you purchase him, he comes dirty. I'm sick of y'all talking about my teddy bear. He yo, comes dirty. Yo, yo. bear is dirty. <laughs> This was the dirtiest bear. I'm about to go get him. Go get him. Go get, get him. It's not the dirtiest bear that you ever did see. I'm I'm right right back. Back. I never he's seen. He's not even dirty. I'm be right back. Yo, yo he's dingy. Oh, look, he's it's dingy. Yeah. Let's give it up for Roxy's chair, though. It is amazing. No, I really feel like pink. I am a part of this. Her getting the new chair. I got tired of seeing her fall. And I was Yo, like, yes. let's start the let's start the donations right now. Like, let's get this lady a new chair. So she did it. Look at you. She did it. We did it. I love the empowerment of women. Niggas we would be like, it. damn, that chair fucked up. Oh. She kept falling. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. fell twice in the course of two weeks. Okay. So it's look, time. we're gonna settle this today. Today is the day. It don't look dirty, it look pink. That you ever did oh, no, see? He's dirty. No, that shit is dirty. Hold on, hold on. That's hair. actually white, like your chair. I'm gonna bring, up, I'm gonna bring up the the Teddy. How he comes? Hold on. You We're ending this today. A whole new bear. That's not the same bear we seen. It is the same bear. See how they do me? Okay, wait. So yeah, he man. comes dirty. Those dirty. I need some Toy Story fans in the comments to let them know. I literally was running. I'm so tired and hot. <laughs> white people sneakers. White people sneakers become. You act like your house is like uh, three, thirty thousand square feet and shit. But I just I'm, I'm wearing the I'm West wearing Wing. Flip, I'm wearing flip flops, so you know it's harder to run. So he come dirty like that. Uh, See, thank you, John A. He looks so, clean right there. <laughs> it, it, it's something to be a little like dingy. You know the like 
That's cool. It smells like strawberries. And he does. He still smells like strawberries. And they was they was roasting me all weekend in Vegas, talking like, "Don't touch me with that dirty ass bear. Don't you come around me." Wow, now. that's so he mean. was. This is how he been. You, can I ask you a question? An honest question. Have you watched him lately? Yes, but I watched him okay. right before Vegas. I watched him right before Vegas. You don't have to wash. You don't have to wash your memories away, Roxy. Teddy bears are not supposed to be washed. I'm such a they butthole. Have a story. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna make you lose now. Fuck your oh. birthday. <laughs> you gonna talk shit like I'm not typing the points in. <laughs> okay, Herman, what's the square root of 4,000? Period. Called it. <laughs> period. I hate it. 4,000, period. Not period. Okay, Herman. Yep. Whore. Hold <laughs> on. Yeah. I know y'all was talking shit when I left. Oh, I can't wait to rewind this episode. Okay. Oh, hey. What is the image behind you? Oh, yeah. Let's do that first. Oh, this is a painting. Um, this guy does these paintings over at uh, Fairfax. Um, it looks cool. Uh, what's the name? The God is looking at post. Me. And he basically take a marker and draw titties and stuff and then charge people $200 for it. Oh, wow. For so you hey, pay $200 for some Sharpie drawn titties? I didn't pay two hundred dollars. I would have showed you my real titties for two hundred dollars. Hey, <laughs> hey so can you? <laughs> and let you print it and have it for life. I wouldn't even be like delete it. I'd be like, it's fine. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Hold on, I got to pull up another timer. I forgot to charge my phone. Hang that okay. above your couch and shit. Here we go. Just have some titties. I can just go to New Orleans and see some titties for free. Just go to the internet. It's true. Titties. That's also true. Okay, y'all ready? You ready for a question? <laughs> I'm going to yes, start it because I'm getting more and more high. And my phone just okay. died, so I can't use my phone. So we're going to use the computer, but it'll be fine. Okay. Where did Kevin's family travel to in Home Alone? 15 seconds. New York. 10 seconds. That was Home Alone too. Indiana. Was home, was home Alone? Home Alone. Home Alone. It's a Four couple seconds. of them. The, the first original. one, duh. They that's went to Home New York. That's how I got lost. No, they didn't. That Keep is going. incorrect. What else you got? No, that's it. Time is up. They went to Paris. They went to New York, and he went to New York in the second Home one. Alone. They went to Paris. They were going to Paris, and that's why it took so long for them to get back. Yo, sudden death. Like, yeah, don't play with me. Hold on. All right, how dare you question me? Go mm. back and watch it. I just watched it, and that's why you lost because you were being mean. All right, mm. so. No, it's actually tied one point for Herman and one point for Moscato. So you are correct. And this one, this is going to be sudden death. I'm correct. No, no, no. You are correct. No. It's now time for sudden death. Oh, okay. I thought that so wait, Tok. To Thank you, Tok. Wait, I like what Tok does it. Do it again. I didn't say it. Sudden death. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I felt that. <laughs> sudden death. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, so I keep laughing. All Maybe. right. So sudden death. It is just one question. One question only. There's no time. It's the first person to get it right. Can you okay? just scream it out. Yes. Just scream go. That is chaotic. Exactly. Love it's it. We did. It. What death the people chaotic. want. We want it. Come on. Period. <laughs> I like the little period. 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 Every I say period in church. Period. Period. Like, <laughs> the Bible says, period. 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 <laughs> okay. You gotta leave it. Hey. Wait, do it. Period. period. Okay, so sudden death. I also came up with this question. So you know it's gonna be <laughs> all right. What is Patrick's last name in SpongeBob? Oh, what? Patrick. Starfish. Incorrect. Incorrect. Star. Correct. Fish. Star. <laughs> Moscato with the win. And okay. we have Moscato. You know, you know. Let's get that loser out of here. Let's get that loser out of here. Hey, hello. Moscato <laughs> has <laughs> taken it. So wait, before actually, Here's before it. we bring you up, let's let's bring that loser back up. Um, Herman, how does it feel to lose? Uh, you never really lose when uh you learn something from a queen. Okay. Oh, what'd you learn? Nah, bro. Yeah, well, yeah. What you learn? <laughs> what you uh? What you learn? What'd you learn. Uh, I learned that we can't let Roxy make up random questions. <laughs> Don't nobody like know shit about what she be talking about. <laughs> All right, we need to get somebody in there where it's fair. How I'm supposed to know what's on 
Roxy. I don't know nothing about these dirty ass animals. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. It was a great time. It was Losing. really nice to see my friends. We love you. Oh, thank you. Okay, well, we love you. And we're going to bring up the actual winner now. Um, mm. <laughs> how does it feel, Moscato? <laughs> you know, it's it's um, it's feeling familiar. And I mean that in the most humble way, but like I'm so used to winning that um, this feels like yesterday. It feels like a, a Saturday. Hey, okay. Monday. It feels like a Tuesday, even though it's a Sunday. Um, you know, it just none of these shows. You know, oh, you do. It was nice. It was definitely nice to be with you, lovely ladies, and Herman. Um, Herman with the pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> it's just been a vibe. Um, yeah, I I'm gonna it. tell John Eight. Thanks for you know for for sending me. Sorry. Um, I had a great time. I don't think she would have been as much fun, to be honest. <laughs> no, Moscato was a lot of fun. And generally, <laughs> this is the part where we depart and we do our decompression. Um, but y'all are, we're just having a, a lot of fun. So we, we actually would like, right, Toke? We would like for them to... Yeah, so if you guys want to join us, we are moving into our decompression hour. But before we even get there, Moscato, we celebrate the win. You win your favorite bottle of wine. So oh, my is God. it what you showed us or is it well, something that's not that you wine, But uh, my actual favorite, um, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's called Dom Perignon. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get some bottom shelf. Um, whatever they got, that is similar. Some They're gonna bring you some brew. <laughs> about to get some moonshine. That's what's in our budget. <laughs> now we will so, do the best we can for you. Um, but but anything will get you there. Okay, perfect. So if you stay after, definitely send us your uh, you know, shipping information, and we got you. Okay. Hey, well, actually, um, Sunday. Weed, though, if I would prefer to get weed, can I just switch it out? We can talk about that later, maybe. Shout out to Zimbros. <laughs> shout out to Zimbros. Shout out to Zimbros. Uh, I said, can I shout out my weed sponsor? Go yeah. for it. Go ahead. Shout out to Stizzy for holding your boy down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just looking out for your boy, being part of the all Dev crew. Uh, Stizzy, thank y'all. I'm gonna do some more videos soon. Uh, Why you sound hey, like a fiend? Shout, shout, shout out to Zembros. Uh, I'm trying to get funny, but hey, John, oh, we'll go ahead and get him, girl, Stizzy. But Herman, I need you to give me a pot. I didn't know it just was the thing. <laughs> what you? Oh, you need to. I, got, I, got I thought it was. I thought it came with the weed. I don't like this new school shit. They just get what the fuck am I? Yeah, so bringing it up for you. I'll give you my pot. I got this. Oh, see, that's all we want to do. Oh, look so at her in with this stuff. Your pockets. You wouldn't have even seen <laughs> it. I was no, thought I was good. No. Was good. Okay, so you know what? No. We are, y'all get hot and heavy. Go ahead. Yeah, go on. Oh, no, wait. wait, wait. I, was I was gonna say, so yeah, we're bringing everybody into our um <laughs> decompression because y'all getting honey <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> I like this little head thing you've been having going on lately. It's real nice. Who me? Yeah. Like, oh, thank you. I'll be trying yeah. to look sweeter because people be scared of me. But um, <laughs> yeah. Well, so you, know, you gotta yeah, stop they, they, niggas. I, that's I true. Yeah. But see, that's why I decompress. So once again, <laughs> we high and drunk. We cross faded. Period. Hey. <laughs> All right. So what do we do when we decompress, Toke? So um. We talk about our mental health. We'll talk about how we're feeling. And also we talk about the terpene of the week and the activity of the week. And usually terpene and activity will help with any uh, mental health state that you're going through. So, I mean, it is real. Why not talk about it? But, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Me too. Uh, me so too. I guess I'll start off. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. Now that you guys are here, I've had some wine with y'all. So of course I'm feeling happy. But um I think it's good to also just kind of talk and be around each other. I miss mm -hmm. uh Roxy. I haven't seen Roxy or Johnny or Herm since 420. And that's a long time. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that we're able to do this. And I think that is important, the kind of like human interaction and shit. So mm-hmm. I'm happy you played with us. Me yes. too. Yes. This is my first time on the show. I'm extremely happy. I'm, I'm so proud of you ladies because I just see where we started and I see where you're taking it. And I love to see both of y'all um, in these roles. And Janae, I really love what you're doing too outside of this stuff. I see the shows that you put on. Um, Janae, she can still hear you though. She's back there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Janae. Yeah, she's back there. Oh, Herman, don't make me cry. You know, I'm uh, (laughs) putting on these shows and stuff like that. And just, oh, you're so sweet. It's a place to perform. I heard it's just a really lovely venue that you have. So uh, I just. Give He's, trying to 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 He's trying to get booked. He's trying to get booked. I'll book you, Herman. Ooh. I'll book you. Hey, we got a book <laughs> going on. I mean, you know, you're going to give me a stizzy pot. I think, you know, that's a fair yeah. trade. Stay right? Somebody. Stay I love this. I love how this turned to a book. Period. Period. Oh, I mean, my shot of white do that. Now she's not gonna stop. Period. <laughs> I need a refill. I must have been activated. Oh, I wish I, I could refill your cup, yo. Oh, that'd be cool. I hate yeah. it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna stop up. my camera because. Okay. You know. Well, I could take yeah. you off. Uh, tell us gonna do the terpene of the week real quick, and then we'll I'm bring Moscato back. Weed, I'm drinking. I'm running red lights. Well, no way, but we didn't talk about your mental health, Roxy. Oh, How you mine, I'm sorry, I started going producer. Um, I feel really, really good. Um, when we came back from out of town, you know, I had did the uh Kevin on stage show and we did 420, and I came back super duper like I gotta work, I gotta go. But I I do this thing and I do the same thing when I get depressed. I'll go into like hermit mode and I will just work. Yeah, I won't talk to nobody, I won't text nobody, I won't do anything. And it, it almost mimics the same symptoms that I have when I'm depressed. So I had to like stop. I had to be like, yo, I know I'm, you know, I'm working, but like I also need to like chill. I need to continue to engage with people because like I need that engagement and to know that like, you know, I'm loved and that I'm cared about. So because that will trigger my depression. Tell Hello. Me the man, another story. But, <laughs> but yeah. Because he wasn't talking to me. I was so sad. I missed my friend, but happy to have you back. I understand how it's. You know, yeah. So, but but I also just like you know balance and all that stuff. That's my issue is I don't balance. Like when I'm when I'm in something, I'm in it fully. But that's not good. Like I need to try to continue to balance friendships, relationships, relation friendships, relationships, whatever with work because that's how you get burnt out. And I don't want to get burnt out. So that so I'm good. I'm happy. I'm finding balance. I've scheduled my week. I'm good. I feel really really good right now, and I feel like happy. I feel happy. I feel engaged. I feel like present. Yes, that's good. Right on, brother. Right. How you All feeling? Time. All the time. How you All feeling, time. Herman? You, you <laughs> how you feeling, brother? <laughs> um, I'm feeling extremely well. Uh, yesterday I had a birthday. Um, Ooh, so birthday. it felt really good to have uh, my friends and folks around and just uh, people I uh, truly want to see do well. Not to say that y'all wasn't invited and y'all couldn't have came and I don't want to see y'all do well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's nobody taking nothing personal harm in here. Yeah, yeah we but, love but you. For sure, just, uh, Welcome to Sundays. Just, just yeah. my nucleus in um, just my nucleus in LA is, is pretty tight of the friends it. and family that I have, and um, I don't know. I like creating good relationships because I feel like that's what lasts. Um, mm-hmm. And sometimes mm-hmm. I may depend more on the relationship than I do the business. I'm starting to learn to balance that part out as well. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it just mm-hmm. goes hand in hand. You know what I mean? Like, um, so yeah, I, I I haven't been depressed. Not that I know of. It probably happens for a quick second in the shower, and then I'd be like, all right, oh. nigga, get it together. You naked. You know what I'm saying? And then you go on. <laughs> what? <laughs> you naked. <laughs> you naked. You can't be vulnerable and naked. Right. <laughs> oh no, yo. <laughs> Ridiculous. But other than that, man, I'm, I'm I'm really happy, and I'm really happy to see the things that everybody um, has going on and they're doing, and they're trying to put together, and just this whole all deaf cannabis thing, like that, definitely picked up my morale because it, it just I don't know, it gave me such a a good platform for people to see me. I felt like people couldn't see me no matter how big I thought I was. You know what I mean? So this opened up a new world for me. I'm really happy about that. And I'm really happy about the people that I get to do it with. Aww. 
Beautiful. Thank you. Is beautiful. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now that um, is beautiful. How are you feeling? Well, um, honestly, I'm feeling really good. Um, just being here in this moment, taking it to right now, um, I didn't realize that mental health was a, a component of this show, and I love it. Um, I'm a person who has definitely had a journey of my own dealing with mental health, and it's refreshing to have a space and spaces that are being created. Um, for me, it, it creates a safety. And if you ask anybody who's ever dealt with mental health, like that's the biggest thing. You just want to feel safe. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, so um, to have it be, I'll be, you know, just completely candid. There have been times where I've been afraid to even let people know, hey, I deal with some mental health things, like especially on the creative level out of fear of like maybe people might want to work with, you know, someone who, you know, um, yeah. but it's, it's a beautiful time to be alive and to have amazing dope ass creative people who are also advocates um for mental health and yeah like this is beautiful just just like herman i just had a birthday too so hey. it was a lot of celebration um more than i was even ready for like four different celebrations. And I'm like, I that um, like, I know that, um, you know, what, what I do is public. I still am a very private person. I love my intimate moments, my, you know, um, mm -hmm. things, but it was, it was, it felt good to allow myself to be celebrated. Celebrate others. Why not? That, and that's love yeah. on you. Like, yeah. that's okay. Period. You know? That's so, the point. Yeah. <laughs> Period. You know that you're loved. You are loved all around. Yeah. And I think that's, that's a beautiful it. feeling. Yes. Yeah. And that's definitely one of my affirmations that I definitely have to say to myself whenever I feel yeah. a little um, insecure about whatever's going on about life, period. It's just like, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm loved. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like that makes you kind of revamp yourself. Like, okay, you know what? You're right. Like, it refreshes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am loved out here. Okay. I am loved. We all need a reminder. I love it. And as corny as it may sound and cliche, you really have to count your blessings. Mm -hmm. You really have to go through and say to yourself, Be grateful Damn. for what you have right now. Yeah. yeah. Just yep. look where you was at. Work, yes. my legs work, my arms work. Yes. I'm good. I'm out here mm -hmm. making money. I'm and out here making money for doing yes. something. Yes, and then you move up. Love. Like, Starts at just the basic level, and then you just realize, like, okay, wait, there's more. Yeah, I'm making I money, I'm working with people I like. That part. Be intentional <laughs> get, in what you ask for because yeah, you agree. Yeah, wholeheartedly. Yes, you hold Being here right now. This is something I've asked for, like specific, like literally writing down things. Like, I want to do more things with cannabis. I want to yeah. do more mm -hmm. things with women. I want to do more things with you know. Um, uh, digitally, you know, all those sort of things. Like, so yes, you be very specific because it will. Because you definitely hold the creative power to manifest everything around you. Hello. 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 Yes. And look at that. Look at that. But yeah, also, uh, right. Stoke, would you mind introducing us to the terpene of the day? Because I feel like that goes with everything that we've been talking about. Like, like you know, we all smoke. Cannabis is important. But what I've learned from Tok, who I am grateful for, because I always try to make sure that we're talking about what, you know, we're grateful for. So, Tok, I'm always grateful for you just as a friend. I'm grateful to have all y'all, like, and I have to met y'all. But specifically right now, Tok, because Tok has taught me so much about, like, cannabis and just like it's helped me smoke better and just like smoke with intention honestly like it's just helped me using cannabis to help my mental health mm. so, yeah, yeah for i'm really i'm really grateful like i didn't know all of these things were a part of it and that they could like i knew we'd help but i didn't know specifically how it could help and so this really has been helping me when i'm trying to smoke looking for strains that can help i'm feeling in that moment so that's why this part is super duper duper important to me. So thanks, Toke. My well, weed man don't be having none of that information. I hate right. that. But you know what? The good thing about it is that even if your weed man doesn't have the information, he usually has a name. And because mm -hmm. he can try to tell you a name, you have an idea of where what to look for. 
So if you use that name and hit the internet at the palm of your hands, right? Like mm -hmm. everybody got it. Um, you can then find out with the terpene profile. So we'll start from the beginning for anybody who's new here, right? Uh, a terpene is some, is like an ar aromatic as a uh, flavor type effect of like a essential oil. And ours this week that we're gonna highlight is a uh, caryophylline. So terpenes are in fruits, they're in flowers, they're in plants, they're all over. Um, lavender is one, I know we covered that on 420. Linalool, that was the one last week. This week is caryophylline. You can walk into your dispensary, any dispensary, and ask what the terpene profile of that strain is because we all know strain names change. They change like the seasons. So mm -hmm. we can go in and then ask what the profile is. And then from there kind of modify or almost control the type of high that we get uh, regardless of the strain name. So caryophylline is, a, is dominant in a sativa, more sativa dominant strains. So like Girl Scout cookies, Bubba Kush, um sour diesel and it's the only terpene that acts like a hold on let's add herman back in herman you're back we missed yeah. you yeah my phone my phone died i was only gone for a quick excuse me, my uh my I, iPad iPad died. but i'm oh, about to good. it just turned back on so i'm gonna get off here but i'm watching on here so i'm caught up so i'm still paying attention okay okay, okay. okay. we'll mute you so we don't hear all the clicking Harry Offaline. Here we go. Harry Offaline. That's yep. a cute something I would name one of my kids. Harry Offaline. I like that. Kari I like that. <laughs> Kari is that a middle name? Kari Offaline. That's pretty. It got to be, cool. be a middle name. Is that a middle name? Well, I feel like with a name like that, you don't even need a middle or last name. That's just a name. Oh. Is this your name? Kari Carry Off Offaline, if you don't get in here. Yeah. Kari Offaline. Yeah, uh, elegant. You know what it is. So, caryophylline is actually a. Uh, uh, it's different because it's the only terpene that acts like a cannabinoid. So it does activate our endocannabinoid system, um, and it provides anti-inflammatory and anti-anxiety effects. Ooh. You can find it in uh, like pepper, black pepper, peppercorn, cloves, cinnamon rosemary uh Ooh. and let's do a little side tip real quick um if you are ever feeling paranoid so we know that sometimes you smoke some gas and maybe we weren't ready or maybe we took an edible and we weren't ready for what it was actually gonna hit us with um wow. you can Dang. you can actually <laughs> put black pepper uh on your tongue on the roof of your mouth hmm. or you can put um a peppercorn in its corn, oh. uh, corn, yep, and just toss that bitch around your mouth and suck on it like a lozenge. Hey. Um, is terpenes of the peppercorn, so the terpenes, caryophylline, is going to then help um, moderate or uh, calm your paranoia. So any feeling that you might have of paranoia, it's gonna definitely give you that calming effect. And we lost Herman again, but hopefully he'll be back. Um, <laughs> So definitely look out for those. It's in a gelato. It's in cookies and cream. Okay. Uh, it's like a warm spice kind of uh, mm. smell and flavor. Because <laughs> okay. it's cinnamon. Remember that cinnamon challenge? Yeah. yeah. It, cinnamon is actually pretty spicy. So mm -hmm. yeah. Carry oh, that's because of the caryophylline. Mm. Uh, it's the uh, peppery. It's like a peppery thing all over. Mm -hmm. Black pepper. Okay. Pepper cloves. That makes sense. Um, and then, yeah. and those are all it? very pungent. Yeah. Those are very pungent. But they all like they, they all do have yeah. anti inflammatory. Yes. Yes. Antibacterial, antifungal, all that. They're anti cancer. So um it is it's pretty common, uh, but it's great for the anti-anxiety. So I sometimes have anxiety and 
ever since I learned that thing for paranoia, that has helped some of my friends because mm -hmm. yeah, too many edibles, <laughs> you realize what's coming for you and you've never really smoked or you've never really ingested. Like, yeah, don't fall asleep in a fucking grass patch. Hey, Rafi? Here we go. You gonna bring up old stuff? You fall asleep. Oh, 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 oh. You fall asleep in one grass patch and you get lost at Universal <laughs> City and you try to run away from some people and now all of a sudden you just are the edibles person. Yeah, no, that happens a lot. I like to eat edibles and I like to see how many I can eat before I pass out. That's how my was thing. Your last? How's my last? Herman yeah, got his like silence. Herman got his right, so so we'll just, uh, we love Herman very much. She said his thing keep dying. So we'll just leave him <laughs> off. But we love you, Herman, whenever you come back. Um, so thank you for the terpene of the week, Tok. And he yes, said he's still definitely. watching. Wait, Herman, you going to keep, I feel like we're in a toxic relationship with Herman. He keep leaving. And, he and, we just keep, back. and then we just keep letting him come back. We're like, no, Herman, we love you. It's all the time. for us. We in here cooking in the kitchen. It's hot. Right. Oh, I hate it. All right. Oh, and so to go with our terpene of the week, we have our activity of the week. And Ooh. so today, and we're actually, since y'all are here, we're going to actually do it all together. So since Sok was saying, what, car for, car say it. Caryophylline. It helps with um anxiety and all that kind of stuff and like bringing yeah. you down. Um, I've been practicing mindful meditation and stuff like that and different Ooh. breathing techniques. And I will say, like, I have, I almost had a panic attack. Uh, actually, when I came back from the airport, I'll just be, since we're being transparent, I tend, I, I, I never used to have panic attacks. And then I was in a terrible engagement. And that was the first time I started having panic attacks. And then since then, like, I, I will sometimes get them. I don't get them as frequently anymore. Since I started smoking more, I'm going to be real. Um, but mm -hmm. I still will get them. Uh, so I've I've been trying to learn how to like breathe yeah. properly, how to calm myself down. And yes. so I was coming from the airport. I was actually coming from the airport and my daughter was with her grandfather and my dog was gone. So I like realized I was going to be coming home alone and I have not really been alone since the mm -hmm. quarantine. And so like just all the, th and I had just came from like that high of being with my friends and I hadn't seen everybody in a while and that great show and all this stuff. And then I was just going to come home to an empty apartment and it was late and it was, it's just going to be silent. And so just all those thoughts. And I was just like freaking out. And I just started just like breathing. I was just like going down the, the parking garage and I was on, I happened to be on the top floor. So it was just crazy. It was all that just going on at once. And I was just like mm -hmm. freaking out. And I was just like, no, let me calm down. And I started like practicing mindful breathing and it helped me a lot. So I would like for us to try it right now. It was one that oh. I heard earlier. It's a five, six, seven breathing count. And let's see if it makes y'all feel any better since we all kind of crossfaded. All I right, got so how lick yo uh, you do you out here all falfing on the side. Calf yes, <laughs> cow yeah. cow no, I've been Looks touching so it enough. I'm gonna have to address it. Like this is ridiculous. I wasn't gonna say nothing about <laughs> it. How lick and then I'm trying to put it behind my ear. I'm sorry, Roxy. You're you're so important. <laughs> but that's why we're doing a five, six, seven breathing count. Because Ooh. of stuff like that. So you don't panic about the cow lick that everybody saw, but nobody said anything about. I never okay. even saw it. <laughs> I didn't see it until <laughs> she kept doing this. Toke will keep petting herself. So she was like, <laughs> Herman! <laughs> Herman, do it, do it. Herman, do the, do the, do the Toke oh, pet, no. and then we'll do the breathing technique. <laughs> and also, it's also the breathing technique. <laughs> do it, Herman. Can I do them both at the okay, same time? Okay, do it at the same time. No, okay, good, so we're good. Gonna, no, because you're going to smile, and I need you to try the actual breathing technique. So wait, go ahead. Do it. I'm going to do both of them. I'm giving you <laughs> Whatever. So apparently, yeah. I hate it. It looked worse with Herman because his fingers so long. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you actually you start with a smile. Okay. We're, I'm going to tell you how to do it first. Then we'll do it. So you're going to start with a smile, and then you breathe in for five seconds. You hold it for six, and you exhale out your out your mouth for seven. So breathe in through your nose for five seconds. Hold it for six seconds, and then you breathe out for seven seconds. So let me actually get my timer. And all the way into the point where you cannot breathe, and then yeah. all the way out until the point. And where if you feel you yourself getting lightheaded, then stop. So we're actually going to try it three three times. We're going to try. It, we're going to do it three times. Y'all okay. want me to? Y'all want me to smile while I'm getting lightheaded? 
No, if you get lightheaded, then stop. <laughs> okay, I just was wondering. Okay. Now, you know, should I we're gonna... before I pass out or not? Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all ready? We're going to do it. All right, five seconds breathing in. Why are you not smiling, you Roxy? Smile. Oh, my bad. Go. I forgot my instructions. I'm high. All right, let's start off from the top. Smile. Okay. All right, let's go. What are we doing? <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> Yes. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Oh, I can't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. While I'm doing it, okay. Five, you're gonna breathe in through the nose for yeah, hold it, right? Then you're gonna hold it for six, then breathe out for seven. I can't do oh, it because I'm holding it. Yeah. Okay, okay. In through the nose for five. Hold right. for six, out through the mouth for seven. Are we ready? We're gonna do it ready. again. Ready. All ready. right. We're this trying to we... focus. This is not we're not decompressing. Y'all okay. still hype. That's the problem. I'm sorry. We yeah, we gotta high. decompress. We were decompressing. Y'all still hype. Army kept coming in with his meat everywhere. We're decompressing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we decompressing. No, ah, okay, no, no. No, decompressing. Let me stop. We got to focus. How we can't teach the people if we don't do it. So we're going to do it three different times. Oh, okay, let's get, let's get I know. No, I, I was talking to me. I was looking at me. Okay, me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, stop it, Roxy. You can't talk about his meat. Okay. All right. So one more time. We're going to breathe in through the nose for five, hold for six, out for seven. Here we go. And. Don't you feel calmer? I feel way calmer. Let's do it two more. Two. I feel lightheaded. I'm lit. Y'all want to do it? Y'all want to do it? Let's do it one more time. We'll do it well, one more time. This All right, you ready? And, and now you can like, just like, ooh. Yeah, like. And now <laughs> count, count on your own time because everybody counts different. So try it in your own. Count in your head. Really focus on the breath. You can close. In fact, everybody close your eyes if we're going to decompress. Everybody close your eyes. We're going to zone out for these next couple seconds. Let's really see if we can try to decompress and calm ourselves. Oh, we can just smile, smile, guys, smile. Yeah, smile. Please. Close your eyes. Please. Five seconds in. Six Please. seconds hold. This is the only seven time out. Out. That's not loud. decompressing. <laughs> she drunk. All right. Cross <laughs> All right, y'all ready? And and go. Cannabis and weed bring out the best in each other. So I'm just having a good time. Happy Sundays. Hey. Oh, no. shit. My drunk Tia. Okay, okay let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm snotty. Excuse me. <laughs> we gonna do it again. We're doing it again. Class. We're doing it again with your snotty ass. In fact, now everybody got to get muted. Now y'all making me be a teacher. So everyone is now muted. Everyone is now muted except for me, including the Tia, my drunk Tia. See, look at you. I'm snotty. Badass class. No, you're muted too. So we're gonna decompress. <laughs> we're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. God damn it! Okay, with your snotty ass. All right, class. We are decompressing. We're gonna breathe in for five, hold for six, and then breathe out for seven. Because I really want to see if it works. Okay, is everybody ready? I can't hear you. Who unmuted themselves? No, ma'am. All right. So <laughs> All right. We're gonna see. We're going to see if it actually works. <laughs> We're going to see if it actually works. Because now they don't believe us, y'all. Now we look like liars. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all childish. Let's go. Okay, I'll unmute you. No one's snotty. Keep it to yourself. Okay, go ahead. Focus on the breath. Fill your lungs. Focus on the breath. Think good thoughts. It's great. Oh, see, everyone was quiet. See, it does work when you actually focus. See what focus does? Hear the breath. Fill your lungs. Breathe. Fill your lungs. I have no oh idea what's going on the whole time, but it's fine. Yeah. Fill your lungs. Breathe up. It's fine. <laughs> Fill your lungs. <laughs> no, it's fine, but did it feel good? I did feel good. So, I did it. I did it um a couple of times, like for real, for real, no laughing, and and it was so great. It was I'm you, her, her, her was smoking. 
The but, notification threw me off. I couldn't count. But no, but did you do, did it work when you actually were doing it? Did you oh, feel yeah, better? Sure. When Ooh. I smiled and uh I really it took me to another place. Yo, and if you do it, if you do it like not with the wine, cause wine crossfade is a different thing. But if you do it high, and you and you meditate, like I be meditating high. If you meditate high with the caraphylene, say it told caraphylene, caraphylene. Let's Cari try. You know, we gonna try and bring, come back with some homework. Try it with some caraphylene. Caraphylene. Cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice. Say it. Talk. I really cannot say it. Caraphylene. Or caraphylene technique. I think mixing those two things will help you get maybe to a state of nirvana. That's where I like to get. So we are actually get it on the flow. Get it, get it on the flow. Sorry. <laughs> we are done for the day, class. We would like to thank our guests, Moscato oh, no, and yeah. thank, you, thank you guys for joining us. It's been <laughs> fun. Herman Wright. No, oh, no, but uh, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I'm high. Yeah, no more, no more friends during the decompress. We play too much. I I'm decompressed. I just was all had. I had all this compression. That right was. That's here. not with so loud. I was, I was meditating. He oh, was. This <laughs> so, I heard it in my mic. I was disgusted. So thank you very much to our guest Herman Rice and Moscato. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> my Ti so drunk. And John I'm drunk, but I'm not saying the dumb shit. <laughs> you did. No. He said, "Get it on the floor." And no one's. I was, I was in a good mood. I was having a great time. That's your song. Get it on the floor. Get it. Get it. Wait, on the floor. I end. All right. That made me think about that. So, but so thank you. Word. Everybody follow. Word. Because I was gonna put yeah, another one. Go ahead. No, yeah, that's it. Thank you, everybody. I'm not drunk. She's lying. She's just high. She's accusing me. I'm a little cross faded. We yeah. all are cross faded. Yo, we kind of fucked up. All right. And make sure y'all follow us on our social media as well. It's Roxy Hayes and Tokahannas. Is it with a this with an O now? No, not yet. So what is it? Okay. It's still with a zero, but it will be with an O soon. We coming for you, O. And make sure you subscribe to All Def Cannabis. Turn on your notifications so you know when we come. And this is coming out every Sunday. We are back, right, Tope? We We're are back. back. Yes. We're, We're coming back, back every back. Sunday at whatever time. This What time does this drop, Tope? Um, I don't know. O'clock. We, we haven't back. decided, really, because we've been up and down with time. So. Okay. so you know what? Let us know in the comments. What time do y'all want Sundays? What time do y'all eat brunch? Let us know in the comments, and we'll we'll drop it around that time. So, uh, bye, motherfuckers. Go ahead, hit them with the song, Tope. Oh, you see, but I'm the one that was drinking. I'm not here cursing mm -hmm. at our guests. Hit them, hit them with the I'm song, Tope. What song? Get it you got Tope is just singing it. Oh, no, I don't know. Moscato. Moscato, can you drop some bars for us? You drop um, some bars. Well, only if only if we get some ukulele. Oh, I oh, gotta say less. Okay, hold on. Uh, why does Roxy have it right next to her? She was ready. On a whole nother. Hey. Uh-huh. That's right. It's Sunday. We don't play. We smoke it. And drink it. That do say. That's easy. Get it on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Get it on the floor. Roxy. And Herman. Get it on the floor. Okay. Sunday. Okay. Sunday. Oh, good. Hey, my name. Bye. Bye. Happy Sunday. Bye. <laughs>